He's back, Casual Geographic once again, with another banger animal video, which I love, the insane plot armor of cats. How do cats keep winning? What is it about them? How come they never die? Let's find out! My voice is fucking shot, dude. Oh my god. It's so embarrassing. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, grab the girl hand. Oh, Lord, you are, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. The fuck got it? This poor dog. Is, please let me up on the bed. Please let me up on the bed. Base, base, please. Oh, no. The dramatic fallback. Oh. If cats aren't the most broken animals on the planet, God must have discontinued first place. Do you guys ever think about how it's fucked up that cats are so cute? I'll look at a cat. And it's weird that one of the, like, deadliest predators, right, in terms of the animal kingdom, they kill so many rats and mice and mammals, but they're so cute. Uh, they they could have made them ugly, you know what I mean? Why did God make them so pretty to us, specifically? What Are they doing it on purpose, right? To trick us? Serious, it feels like that, right? High roll acute passive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'd be at the very top. Good all Cats are arguably the most successful predators we've ever seen. With so many overpowered abilities, you'd swear it was plot armor. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, probably eight rungs. Oh, that's like one of those Bengal cats, though. That's be that's like three steps away from being a leopard. So here's ten superpowers your cat has that you may or may not have known. And number one, yeah. zero fall damage. You've probably heard Not that cats zero. always land on their feet, but the real flex is being able to fall from heights that would have any human furnishing a coffin. A 1987 study showed that out of 132 cats that were brought to an emergency vet in New York City after oh. falling out of a high rise, 90% <laughs> lived and less than 40% required life-saving treatment. Okay, I thought they were gonna say they dropped 300 cats off of buildings to see how many would survive and I was gonna be like uh, That <laughs> that must have been in like the early 1900s before we came up with like ethics <laughs> It gets even wilder when you realize that cats actually have a better chance of getting airdrop from a building and walking it off the higher the drop was What the fuck dude, how high is this? Whoever is filming this thought they just saw a cat die. Cats actually have a better chance of getting One, airdrop from a building two, and walking it off. The higher three, three foot free fall. The drop was, and it's all. And then immediately got chased by this asshole. Because cats understand physics. <laughs> Dude, how did he draw aggro just from? Fu That's fucked up, man. When cats reach TV, they splay their legs and kind of just parachute the rest of the way down. <laughs> and instead of landing on their feet, they break their fall with their what? chest. How are cats abdomen. getting there? Oh, that's a raccoon. Okay, he's dead then, right? Cats that fall from two to seven stories actually end up more down bad than the ones that touch Earth from ten stories up. This is such a weird study. <laughs> In fact, cats have about a 95% chance of falling from ten stories and living. Ten stories, bro? Isn't that like a hundred feet? Yes, it's 10 feet. Okay, just wanted to be sure. I don't believe that. I think a cat would die. Meanwhile, the average human has a 95% chance of getting that video, outlined though. with chalk. Oh, and don't think just to cut off kid. 10 stories either. One cat named Sabrina took a 32-story express trip to the ground and walked away with only a punctured lung and a chipped tooth. Not that one, though. That shit is tiny. That cat can't fall off this ledge. It'll die. Look at how bony that shit is. Being impervious to fall damage is how snow leopards can not only make a living in the Himalayas, <laughs> but can legit Christ. fall clear off a cliff and the only injury they take is to their pride. <laughs> okay, you can't tell me that snow leopard is not fucked up. Dude, he hit every rock on the way down. What do you, in boom, the in the head, Himalayas. boom, in the tummy, can legit fall clear off and then like a 50 a foot drop, the what the fuck is that? Is don't laugh, you wouldn't survive that, you don't know. Speaking of plot armor, did you know a cats couple are actually of us would built live. to predict the weather? You see, cat hair attracts static electricity, so they can pick up on the buildup of electrical charge that often comes before a really bad storm. Again, how do they know this? And they can even smell rain and lightning coming. It's so OP well, that I sailors used to use rain. cats aboard ships special. as a four-legged forecast. For forecast. No, no, yeah, forecast. Apparently a cat with the zoomies means you could expect strong winds. A cat that sneezed was warning you of heavy rain. And apparently if one licked their fur against a grain mid-sail, then you better make like God's golfing, because it's finna hail. What? This sounds like, like, old sea tales. I don't think any of that's true. Now, to be fair, a month surrounded by nothing Lioness. but sea and seamen gives you a lot of time to just make stuff up. Yeah. I mean, just how many sea monster stories was just a whale freeing his willy? Is that what that is? Why is it above water? <laughs> Please unpause. 
I, I just don't know why you would need to do that. Like, for what purpose? And speaking of no job, cats really managed to finesse their way into living in nearly 50 million homes in America rent-free. And one of the biggest reasons- 50 million? So that's one in six houses have a cat? That makes sense. Is because cats are the best manipulators nature has yeah. to offer. And if you think they aren't, you're probably a mark and you don't even know it. Oh, According don't to talk researchers about the at the University of Sussex, the many cats will exploit their owners with a soliciting purr. This distress purr likely triggers a deep, innate nurturing response in humans, meaning you're literally hardwired to answer to it no matter what you were doing before. What? I knew that was like a thing that they do to their owners to get them to pay attention. I didn't know that like... You have to respond. Your innate biology tells you to do something with them. They have a fucking charm spell. That's what I'm saying. Like, so apparently cats understand psychology too. That's not even really a joke because adult cats almost never meow to each other. I do know that. I know that the whole vocalization is only for people, right? Tigers have reportedly mimicked sandbar deer and black bears. Bro, just, just listen to this. Are you? Why is a tiger eating a bear? That's fucked up. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> we're doomed. As soon as one cat kills a human being, we're done for. They're all gonna be like, damn, we could do that? <laughs> Wait. All they have to do is try. Bears versus hippos, who wins? Doesn't matter, Uncle Ben. Gorilla kills both. <laughs> a gorilla literally wouldn't be able to hurt a hippo. Oh yeah? What say you now? Mmm, you must have forgotten they have tails. Well, well, well. You must have forgotten that they have tails to be grabbed and then spun around really fast. Gorillas are very strong. Cows in time. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I, dude, something about this is... We're good, dude. An alien predator is gonna drop somewhere on the planet and do this shit to us and then take us over. And I know that's like half of all sci-fi, but I'm gonna get body snatched. And it's what would a what would an alien have to say to get you to come over and then die? Free food, free candy. You guys are very easily swayed. They'd actually be great politicians, which is probably how Mayor Stubbs of Tolkien, Alaska, stayed in office for 20 years, even surviving assassination attempts by dogs, BB guns, and a deep fryer. What? Like, I could kind of get the the whole politician cat LOL and maybe getting attacked by dogs. Who shot the governor cat? The fuck is going on in Alaska? Special ability cats have, and it could arguably be the most overpowered of all. It better not be toxoplasmosis or whatever the fuck that is. You see, there's this thing called baby schema. It basically means that humans have an intrinsic bias towards a certain set of facial features in people and animals to the point where it just makes us want to protect them. And yeah. with their big head, wide eyes, and round forehead, cats literally remind us of babies. Fuck, man. They got a good... They got the prismatic augment that just makes them cute as hell. It's actually high rolling. And even though it's a That's buff from crazy. nature, cats They're will 100% so play dude. into this by figuring out what combination of ear wiggling, whisker pointing, and eye narrowing gets the best response from people. Now add the fact that slow blinking with your cat can trigger oxytocin in both of you. The literal hormone that bombs oh, my ass got oxytocin. Bonds a mother to her child. And you can see how cats were basically engineered to be irresistible. Fuck, it's pretty privileged man. on every steroid possible. And it's wild because if any other animal ah! had a reputation for cold indifference and global genocide, it'd be cause of pause. But because it's cats, we just let it slide. That's what I'm saying, dude. Cats are fucked up, but we're all just like, oh my god, so cute. Like, I, I hate that I get manipulated by this. I hate that my brain sees it and I want it to- I don't know. I should be able to rationalize this, right? Cat cuteness virtually has- Except that- that cat is ugly. <laughs> that cat would not trick me. I would throw that cat in a deep fryer. You know what would be really weird? Is if this went on YouTube and the editor left out the earlier deep fryer thing but kept in me saying that. <laughs> So it just seems like unprompted. I said I would throw a cat in a deep fryer. That's oddly specific, don't you think? Editor, if this goes on YouTube, please don't do that. I don't want to get fired. Studies show that cat owners are 40% less likely to suffer a heart attack and have a 30% less chance of getting clapped by cardiovascular complications. 30%? Yeah, that's a huge passive boost. 30% is a... This has got to be like a, a correlation causality kind of thing, right? But if you really want to get literal about it, cats purr at a frequency that's said to improve bone density, repair tendons, and promote healing. What the fuck is that? Repair bone density? 
This is written by a cat. I never really fully understood <laughs> it, but apparently cats purr at a frequency that transmits vibrations throughout the body. Vibrations that help increase blood flow to the affected area, thereby bringing more nutrients. Cats can fix your bones. T. Cat. Oh, he's got a cat. Is it cute or ugly? What do you think? Ah, uh, th that's a stupid question. It's cute. Big orange cat. I know that shit got fur everywhere. On related note, I want y'all to meet my editor and content manager, Aslan. That's a big cat, dude. I tried to find the articles online, but apparently there was a switch up, and now women find cat owners less attractive. So on another unrelated note, yeah, he isn't mine. I'm actually just cat sitting for a friend. We Wait, so... So cat owning a cat used to be cool and now it's not? Women want ferret owners now? Is that what's in? Ferrets? Those things smell awful. Superpower number seven is that cats have ultra instinct. Those whiskers can detect sudden changes in air currents to figure out the size, shape, and speed of nearby objects. It's like a whole well, like radar a, system like growing out of their sense? face, and it's how like, a blindfolded cat is still hell on earth for any mouse in the area. Bro, I still don't think you're understanding just how much of a cheat whiskers are. Cats can even use their whiskers to figure out- That cat had no eyes. Now to us, it's interesting and pretty cool, but to a mouse trying to make it home to his family, that's gotta be some bullshit. I'd be mad as hell if I was a mouse and fighting a cat. Can't do shit about it. Wow! You cut off all my options, really? Okay, but this <laughs> this mouse is pretty good. I hope he lives. And you can't even play dead with the cat since they have carpal whiskers that allow them to tell if their prey is playing or, you know, actually past tense. How? What the fuck? How do you know that? It's basically impossible to catch a Oh, cat. no! <laughs> Get out of there! Flipping. They don't no. have to hear you. They don't even have to smell you. All it takes is a smallest change in air currents to drive Fuck, the man. Whereas I predators, thought he got cats out. Cats are the ones that do the sneaking. He shouldn't have shown me that second clip. I've only seen the first clip on, like, funny cat videos. I've never seen that second one. I didn't know it existed. For 10 years, I thought that mouse lived. I'm sad now. There might not be a single event at the Olympics that one of the 40 flavors of feline can flex on us in. Dude, what? That's absurd. That's like 10 of him. God damn, dude. That one of the 40 flavors of feline can flip. That's like 20 feet, yeah. That's on us Not even a you running start. Speed? Cheetahs can go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. They can peak out at over 70 miles per hour. Yeah, but apparently they're really shitty and you could kill it easy. You want to see a cat get high minus the catnip? The servo jumps so high that their meal prep literally involves pimp slapping birds right out of the air. And for powerlifting, oh here we have God. a literal deadlift by a leopard using only its teeth. Yes, Jesus that is a rhino. Christ. Yes, that is a giraffe. And speaking of leopards, they're also gymnasts on steroids that turn trees what into What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with cats? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? We got to get rid of them, man. They're going to win eventually. They have too many good stats. As soon as a cat learns to talk, it is fucking over. If one cat learns to talk, we're dead. The only animal in the Amazon rainforest that the jaguar is afraid of is river otters. Like the cute ones that hold hands. Oh my god, that's like a bear. The giant river otter? No fucking way. That's a six foot river otter? Is Generally. that what this is after? Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god! Aquatic jaguars? Oh, they're smart then. Alright, well, if they're not. Oh my god! Do not go in there. There's like three of them. Dude! There are four otters. Let's just rip you apart. No, get. Yeah, get out of there. Oh my god, look at all the splashing. Oh my god! Oh god, dude! Looks like a slug cat. Dude, that's terrifying. The deadliest cat in the world is the African black-footed cat. And because of their metabolism, not only can they catch up to 15 bodies a night, they also have a hunting success rate of 60%. Not even lions, tigers, and good? leopards can touch that. 60%? There's a reason why domestic cats put billions of animals <laughs> on shirts a year. <laughs> why he not looking? Why is ass closing his eyes? <laughs> He's sneaking. <laughs> Superpower number nine. Cats can teleport. I'm dead serious. What? Cats do this thing where they just spawn wherever the plot needs them the most. <laughs> Why am I laughing at a stupid TikTok meme? Why was that funny to me? Best story of teleporting cats was Clementine Jones. She was a cat in New York whose family left. <gasps> oh, that looks like my baby. That's what my black and cat, white cat looked like. Now I'm sad. Family left her behind because they were moving and they figured oh, the Oh, that looks like my cat. Oh, I'm sad. Would be too hard. Not my cat, my dead cat. Hard on a pregnant no, cat. I'm sad. Oh, little did they know. Clementine spent a couple of months with her kittens and then one day just headed out. 
and popped up at her old family's home 1,600 miles away in Denver. And it's not even like the family got tricked by a dupe. Clementine was born with an extra toe and had a burn mark on her shoulder. There was no mistake. Oh my her. God. There's only one cat power that's arguably more impressive, and what you saw fuck? it coming as soon as you saw this video. Superpower number 10, mind control. And it's all because it of a little not... parasite called, you know the name, Don't do it. Toxoplasma Gandhi. Bro, he fell for the Toxoplasma Gandhi meme? Dude. Some Joe Rogan shit. Come on, dude. Cats are not MK ing me based on a little bacteria that lives in their gut or whatever the fuck. Getting Gandhi'd. So the parasite, which by the way basically uses the mouse as a layover, they begin to rewire its brain in order to remove the fear of cats. And I don't even know how, but infected mice can even start feeding for cat pee. With more irrational confidence in the oh. photo for it and Instagram models' comments, it's easier for the mouse to get body bags. Oh, That's thank you for censoring op. that. Damn, he got caught. <laughs> he looks so embarrassed. And of course, we now believe that when this same parasite invades us, they do the same thing they would to a mouse. Okay, so so just to be clear, there's a cat, there's a there's a bacteria in a cat's tummy that once he lets it out, it can infect things that go near it and then make them more susceptible to go near a cat. I've never had an urge to drink cat urine. Yeah, as long as I don't eat cat shit, I'm fine. And so far, knock on wood, I've been safe. The dust from litter boxes makes it airborne. My ass is not infected by this shit, dude. Which is why popular opinion is that the Toxoplasma parasite causes an unreasonable attraction to cats. It only causes problems if you have a terrible immune system. Wait. I never thought about crazy cat ladies. Wait, is that real? Is that what's happening? Because, like, I, you don't really see people hoarding dogs the same way. Right? It's not 100% proven that the parasite's responsible for all the cat people in the world, but hear me out. There's proof that this parasite was present in ancient Egyptian mummies. And these were the people that straight up worshipped them. What proof? Not to mention, up to a third of all people alive right now have it, and most have no idea. A third, dude? That is a, a, a liberal estimate, I'll say. Trust me, I would know. No way he has two cats. He's one of them. <laughs> oh, he has a second cat. Look at the dead stare in his eyes. He's been lost to their, their wiles. They got him. <laughs> well, I talk about them a lot in my book, 100 Animals That Can Redacted Kill You. <laughs> Damn, we're expanding. I'll read that shit. Not uh, that book. That book's very short for me, though. He might have like ten chapters. I'm not losing to what is that? A cassowary? Just a big ass emu? One kick from a cassowary and you're dead as hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> never mind. 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 I've never heard that. Never mind. That's a dinosaur. Yeah. I don't stop fighting that thing. If I find a bird and it makes that sound, I'm running. Shoe bill stork sounds. What the fuck is that? What's happening? The f is that him? Is he making gunshot sounds? Get down! An insurrection at the shoe bill store. What the fuck is that? Weren't you gonna watch some badger video? Oh yeah, I forgot. What was the badger video? Why this animal is a war criminal? Is this about otters or is this about or is this about honey badgers? I don't. Oh, it's the otter. I don't want to see a honey badger video. That shit's been memed to hell and back. But like all criminals, to really understand why this demon water weasel is the way it is, you have to look at its family. Otters belong to Team Mustilidae, a family reunion that includes some of the most disrespectful things on four legs. They murk animals ten times their size by chasing them into exhaustion and taking them off the census with a devastating bite to the back of the skull. Cool. What is that? A stoat? I want you to remember I that like fact. that. It's gonna be important later. That's cute. I'm not gonna bore you with a whole- Look at him, dude! But mustelids don't have the strength of bears or the intelligence of wolves and dogs, so they had to overcompensate by being nature's version of short person syndrome. Which is why honey badgers will- Don't. Which finally brings ah! us to this thing. Stop showing me that! Dude, the fucking eyes on this thing are horrifying! Look at the, his fucking crazed eyes! This Stanley Kubrick animal, I hate that, man. And out of all the otters, it's the ones found in the yeah, Amazon these are that are by up. far I don't the like most the eyes. on site. The... Using their numbers and teamwork, these waterproof wolverines will jump anything that ends up in their territory without a Do they problem. hurt people? Why would I ask that? I literally just saw the article. They can hurt people, yes. And, slip. and yes, that, poor that lady. includes humans. No way. Holy shit! <laughs> Hit it! Kick it! Grab its tail! Swing it around! 
Serious otter attacks on humans might be rare, but it seems like at least once a year someone gets put on a headline after getting severely vibe tested by one. The most aggressive and homicidal- Yeah, this fucking thing. That- that's one otter. These are continual pictures of the same otter. It's that fucking guy who's just the legendary animal that you have to kill and like give to the- to the- to the Skinner guy to get a nice coat. Remember how I said the stoat can take down prey ten times its size by- Oh, it was the stoat. We love stoats. Exhausting it and biting the back of its head. That is exactly how giant otters can make a caiman's entire existence a living prostate exam. I know, I feel like- I feel like these things are so poorly specced. Because they only have danger, like, right below them, and then their mouths, and they're not very agile. <laughs> That's kinda cute, though. I like that. I like those sounds. That's adorable. Really cute fun fact, once at the Bronx Zoo, a monkey messed around and ended up in the living room of a family of Asian small clawed otters. The otters proceeded to surround the panicking monkey and drown it, all while both the other monkeys and the people at the zoo watched in both shock and horror. Oh my god, look at this monkey. I'll save you! <laughs> this monkey tried to come in to help. Oh god, this is a murder! And honestly, just the crime of being alive and breathing in their territory is all you need to trigger oh a furry temper tantrum. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Why would he jump in the water for that? What are you doing? <laughs> oh god! Oh god, he's so bad. For those of you that want to disregard this entire video because you think they're cute, that's cool. Oh, seriously, I completely understand. They said the same thing about Ted Bundy. Just like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was really good. That's really good. That's very funny. I think I'm most afraid of crocodiles. Gorillas and then crocodiles. First gorillas, then crocodile. Because. Gorilla, you know, chimps, whatever, gorillas. But second is crocodile because that fucking death roll, dude. Isn't that the most miserable way to die? What about something like a boa where it slowly crushes you to death? Uh, do I get my goldfish? I'll get, like, really close. He would, like, squeeze me. I'd be like, ugh. And then just, I'd pop a couple. And then da -da 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 -da. Squeeze out. Swing him around. Wrap him around a tree. Use him like a swing. You know what I'm saying? Like, put... <laughs> Put a tie around him and then swing, and then uh, maybe a jump rope. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, maybe a little bit of jump rope on that. The usual. Maybe wear him like a belt, right? Tie it like a pretzel. Turn it into a frisbee. Throw him. He comes back like a boomerang. Uh, throw him onto a tree like a like a ring toss. All that. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers flying. There's plus two, minus two. Uh, can we come to a consensus?